I had a really nice time tonight, Hitoshi's voice said softly, his thumb circling on the back of your hand as you made your way back to the dorms. You smiled over at him, nodding in agreement. Me too, you replied, putting your free hand on his bicep as you walked down the sidewalk, biting your lip while staring at the ground. You debated if right now would be a good time to tell him. Hitoshi has been the best boyfriend ever since you got together in your first year right after the sports festival. When he got moved into your class in the second year, you were elated and it allowed you to get even closer. But now it was your third year, and the secret you've been keeping from him for about two years was fighting your willpower to tear its way out of your mouth. You felt horrible about keeping it a secret from him for so long, but you never knew how he was going to react and you didn't want to tear him away from you. You turned your head to look up at him. He looked so at ease, glancing around the streets at the cars passing by. You hated to break his mood, but you couldn't hold it in anymore. Hitoshi? You mumbled as you stopped walking. His continued step forward made you pull his arm slightly so he stopped. He turned to face you with a concerned look on his face. Is there something wrong, babe? You look like you feel sick, he said bringing a hand up to be placed on your cold cheek. You swallowed hard, staring into his violet eyes as your own one started to tear up. His other hand found your other cheek, and his thumbs immediately started rubbing soft circles on them. What happened, kitten? Toshi, there's something I need to tell you. Your voice was barely there, and the thread of it breaking loomed ominously. You cleared your throat slightly, as he looked at you expectantly. I understand that after I tell you this, you don't want to be with me anymore. Whoa, babe, did you cheat on me or something? <laughs> he asked with a small laugh, but you could tell he wasn't convinced fully that you hadn't. No, God no, I never, you reassured and nodded. He let out a small breath of relief, but stayed silent for you to continue. I just... You let out a huff while glancing away from him. The cold nipped at your cheeks as you brought his hands down to be held in your own. You know how I said I don't have any immediate family left alive? Well, that isn't true. His eyebrows knitted together confusedly. My older brother is still alive, and I know you'd know his name if I said it. The only reason I'm alive is because I wasn't home when his quirk manifested and killed our whole family. I was away, staying with a distant relative, and when I came back, he'd figured out his quirk so I didn't have to get hurt by him. You started explaining slowly. Hitoshi was nodding along slowly, trying to comprehend everything that you were saying. From then on, it was just him and I, until this man came along and took us under his wing. It was an interesting time, to say the least. When my brother eventually formed his business, you furrowed your eyebrows slightly, careful when choosing your words. I helped him out a bit. I came to UA, observed the teachers and students and all the activity around, and reported back to him. A few hot tears ran down your face, contrasting from the cold temperatures surrounding you. Wait, so you're saying... He let go of your hands and took a step back. He brought his hand to his hair and stared down the busy street. It was you? You were the traitor? He asked softly, disbelief coating his tone. The tears streamed harder and faster now that you nodded sadly. But I never meant for anyone to get hurt. I swear, I didn't know what he was going to do. As soon as I saw what he caused, I caught ties off with him, you added. You were behind the USJ, and the training camp where Bakugo got kidnapped. You're the reason Aizawa has a huge scar on his face, he listed, his eyes filling slowly with an emotion you could not quite place, but you knew it wasn't good. I didn't want to hurt them. I promised Itoshi. I didn't realize what I was doing, but now I do. I changed. I stopped talking to Tenko altogether, and I don't want anything to do with villains ever again, you cried. You stared at your feet, ashamed at yourself and your past actions. Hitoshi was silent. 
He hadn't moved from beforehand, and it didn't seem like he was going to for a minute or two. I'm sorry, <laughs> you whispered. Your fists clenched at the hem of your jacket tightly, so tight that your knuckles turned white, despite how cold your hands were. How could you not realize what you were doing after the USJ? Why would you keep going on after you didn't want anyone to get hurt? He accused, talking with his hands. You paused for a moment, staring up to his now anger-clouded eyes as he continued. How couldn't you see what you were doing after that? Your teacher was fully body-casted, for God's sake! He yelled. The two of you were starting to catch the attention of passers-by, but no one stopped to intervene. Itoshi, I... You started, but seeing the tears starting to well in his eyes made your heart break. Your tears involuntarily started to flow harder, and you started choking up. Well, listener? His voice cracked as he shouted impatiently, waiting your answer. I... I... You stuttered. I honestly don't know, okay? I don't know why I kept on doing it. A loyalty to the only family I have left alive and the only father figure I've ever had, maybe? I guess my head just shut out the fact that I did let my friends get hurt in the process. You sobbed sadly, putting your head in your hands. I regret everything I did and everyone I've hurt. If I could take it all back, take all the pain, all the suffering and hurt, all the scars and PTSD from everything I caused, I'd do it in a heartbeat. Even if it cost me my life in Toshi, I'd do it. You cried, though you couldn't see it. His mouth was open slightly in shock. He didn't know what to say. Maybe that work. Maybe I should just go. Maybe everyone else would be better off. You thought out loud, sniffling as you brought your arms down to your side. I'm sorry, Itoshi. I love you. You whispered, slowly starting to make your way back to the dorms. You felt a hand grab your wrist after you'd taken a few steps. You turned and saw Hitoshi looking down at you, a few stray tears falling down his slightly pink cheeks. Listener, wait, he said quietly. Just because I may be upset for you doing this doesn't mean I don't still love you. Please don't go. Don't make any rash decisions right now either, please. I can see you regret what you did, and I can't exactly forgive you right off the bat, but I can try, he whispered. Don't go. it just make everyone sad, and I wouldn't be able to stand not seeing you. Even though you're upset with me, you mumbled, looking up at him slowly. Like I said, just because I'm upset doesn't mean that I don't love you, he replied, placing a short kiss on your head. Hello, I'm back. Um, it has been... Last week was quite a week, and I could not do any videos, because there was a lot on my plate. Like, I mean, a lot. But there are three more videos to come after this one, so if you would um, like to see those upcoming videos, um, they're not all coming out today, they're coming tomorrow, Friday, and then Saturday. Um, if you'd like to see those ones, um, please go and subscribe, because so you don't miss the videos. Um, they're all really good. Um, I would also just like to say that you should go check out the writers of all of the fan fictions that I've read so far, because all of them are really, really talented, and all their fan fictions are really amazing. So please go check them out. Uh, I put all of their fan fictions in the description box and the pinned comment of those videos, so please go check them out. Uh, I give them all the credit for those fan fictions. I'm just like guy reading them. Uh, so, now that I've said that, just so you, you know, as like a disclaimer, like, I did not write these. These are all from very talented people. Um, please go check them out, the original one. Hopefully I can bring some traction to them. Hopefully. Um, also, I want to apologize again for not uploading for like a week, because that week was very stressful and I could not, in the right conscience, make a video. And I know this video has been supposed to come out like 
last week. Um, I had a lot of stuff to do. Um, it's this one was good. I really like this one. Um, they're a really talented writer, but like this was good. <laughs> I also got to, you know, be sad in this one. So I mean, yeah. Um, like, comment, and subscribe down below. Um, so you'd never miss a video and you can check out all my videos because those are good too. Don't forget I'm the Lady Otaku and have a wonderful day, night, evening, uh, morning, whatever time you're watching this and goodbye.